Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out this unusual snap style rat trap that comes from the land down under. It's made in Melbourne, Australia, and it has a clever name. It's called the Eraticator, the Eradicator. Now I got this trap as part of a large collection on eBay. It cost me a couple hundred dollars for all these traps, but it's worth it because many of the traps I've never seen before, including this one. It says, caution, keep your fingers away from this end when setting the trap. Now the kill bar on this trap is what makes it so different. It's a really thin piece of wire. On normal rat traps, the wire is much thicker and goes all the way to the end. But this is very thin and almost flimsy. It goes back and forth, but it's attached to two very powerful springs. To set it, you pull back the lever, stretch that spring for the kill bar. Look at that. Wrap it over, fold it on the kill bar and hook it in the trigger pad. The rat will come along. I have a squeaky toy. It'll step on the kill bar to get the bait, and you got it. One thing I do see with the springs and the thin wire is it's so fast and has so much power, if it hit a rat on the head, the rat would probably pull out, but it'd still kill it. But there's only one way to find out. We're gonna test it out with mice and rats. The chicken coop is completely infested with rat holes and mice. So we're gonna set it up. Now the mice come out during the daytime and the rats at night. So I'm gonna set it up, try to get a mouse, and then check it at dark. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Yesterday I set up the Eradicator rat trap in the chicken coop and it didn't take long. A mouse wanted the bait, stepped on the trigger pad, lifted up the lever, and released this wire kill bar. And with those two powerful springs, this is way overkill for mice. Now I came back in the dark with my flashlight and I saw a rat scurrying back in their hole. They were feeding on this mouse. They started with the brains. Those are zombie rats. I took the mouse out, reset the trap, and right after I left, a rat came out, stepped on the trigger pad, and got hit with this kill bar and that was enough force to kill it. But as I thought, this flimsy wire didn't hold it in place. It went back on the ground, and other rats came and ate it in the hole. So there's no rat left, just part of a mouse. Now I don't want this mouse to go to waste, so I'm gonna go feed it to wild animals. In my backyard are a pair of foxes, gray foxes. I'm gonna see if they like rat leftovers. And if the foxes don't wanna eat half a mouse, I'm sure the scrub jays will come. So let's go set up the motion cameras in the backyard with the mouse and see what comes and enjoys a free meal. Well, apparently scrub jays don't mind flying off with half-eaten mice. Even though the rats already ate a bunch of the mouse, the scrub jay enjoyed the final course. It was interesting testing out this trap. I'm not a big fan of the thin kill bar, but it did work. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. Currently, I'm posting videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.